Are you going to tell me what this is all about? Babe, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. Just give me a second. No, no, fucking second. We need Babe. to know what's going on in order for us to understand one another. You know my business with these people, my friends. Your friends? Yeah. Your friends wouldn't put you in any sort of trouble. Especially not me. Where's your common sense, Monty? Who the fuck are these people you're calling your friends? Just, just give me a second. You don't have a fucking second. To explain, goddammit! Oh, okay, well, explain to me. Go on. Tell me what the fuck is going on. Look, babe, we don't need to be acting like this. I mean, just look at us. Do we even look like we love each other? Does it look like we work together on things? What are you talking about? This is the first time you even talked to me talking about? about things. Look, we need to be cool at this point. Like, you need to chill the fuck out and be cool right now. There's someone coming after me. There's someone coming after this package, and I need you to take care of it before it's too long. Here. It's only a matter of time before this deal I have with them is over, and then we'll set this all behind. I've been complying with you. I've been following you everywhere you go, and you don't tell me what's anything about what's going on. You're, you don't even listen to what I have to say to you. I'm only going to tell you so much. I'm involved in something that could get us both killed, and if I don't turn in that package to someone special, we're both screwed, and we're not going to leave any of this behind. I want us to leave this past we have behind. I want us to move forwards, but we just need one more job, and then we're done with it. I'm coming back. Say it wasn't my intention to make your life difficult, but to teach you.
teach you how to walk with your eyes wide shut. What's that supposed to mean? I just hope I'm giving you the hardest... I just hope I'm giving you the hardest time of your life. That's all. <laughs> Ariel, it means that I'm here for you. With whatever you need, right now, I'm here for you. I don't want to lose you. I know. Ariel, it would ruin me so much if something terrible were to happen to you. Fancy, you can't be there every time something happens to me. That's just reality. Oh, well, fuck reality. Whatever senseless thing people think about reality can be their interpretation of monotonous life. Mine is that I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here if ever something bad happens. With whenever you need me, I'm going to be here. We make a pretty cute couple, don't we? All the time. And what would you say about people with fairness and romance in this place? In this place? It's just you and me. me you would make this fast. No, 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 you promised me you would make this fast. Mr. Guy, I don't think I've ever seen you in my life. You must have the wrong room. Oh, trust me. 
I know we have the right place all too well. I just went and asked all of your neighbors, do you know where Alfonso Gomez is? Like an idiot. So, could we skip the part where you're lying? Nothing, huh? Well, me and my buddy Miguel have been asking all the neighbors trying to find this place. Well, Alfonso doesn't really tell me anything about his friends. Well, long story short, we're them. And uh, we just came for the bag that he said that he's hiding. Because if anyone else comes to get it in the same profession, it's going to end a lot worse, I would say. So, uh, yeah, that's why we're here. I mean, that's why we're just here to get the bag and be on our way. Can you please just open up the door? Hi, I'm Hector. That's Miguel. Sorry to show up unexpected. Well, yeah, I am waking up to two strangers. Oh, don't worry about that. You get to know us really well soon. Cool, if that's what you think. I'm sure about it. Well... Any friend of Alfonso is a friend of mine. Come on in. Cut to the chase. Where's the bag? <laughs> well, I don't know. That's bull. I saw you from outside pulling onto the bag on your bed. Why were you spying on me? Because no one was opening up the door. What do you mean? Well, we could have said something. We did say something. All you said was, open up. You don't even know my name. And yet you're inside here, walking in. Well, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry I scared you. This guy's sorry he looked through your fucking window. But we're just trying to get the bag like we were told to do and be on our way. And we do know your name. Your boyfriend said it was Ariel. Well, why didn't you say my name from the beginning? Well, apologies, m'lady. I'm not taking any apologies. Dude, fuck this. Hey, yo, get the fuck back, man. Just check the kitchen and the bathroom, and I'll go check the bedrooms. Do you have home with you? No. Then how did you get a hold of Alfonso? Uh, we met him about an hour ago. What do you mean you met him? Ah. There it is. You know what? I don't think I should do this. How about we wait for Alfonso and keep the backpack here for now? Why? I'll just feel more comfortable if he's the one that takes care of this backpack. He left it with me. Or how about this? We wait here for Alfonso, then when he comes back, we can see what we can do. Your boyfriend's not coming anytime soon, Ariel. You don't know that. We should probably start going. No, 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 no. Alfonso's gonna be back soon. Wait for a minute. Step aside, Ariel. I'm not stepping aside. Until my boyfriend gets back. Ariel, step away from the hallway. Do you not understand? You guys are not leaving with that backpack. Move, cunt. Did you just call me? Called you a cunt. Do you want me to spell it out for you? What's wrong with you guys? We're getting out of here. Now. Yeah. You guys are not getting out of here with that bag. Do you know how stressful it is for me to have to wait for my boyfriend who left the shady ass fucking backpack here with I don't know what in it? Are you kidding me? I don't even know what kind of shitty business you guys are into, but I'm done with it, okay? So can you guys please bear with me for a minute? Can you guys have a little bit of patience? See? It wasn't that hard to have a bit of patience. Wait here. <laughs> what are you doing now? Keep an eye out for me, will ya?
Now we got guests coming over. What do you mean, guests? Brian's having a get together. The last get together. He's bringing some friends over. Or some of them. Would you mind telling me anything about your people? I did in that time. Yeah. I have some stuff to tackle with you. Can you step aside for a moment? 
What's this about? Is this about the backpack? Yes. Did you run into any problems? I did. What went on? What went on? What do you mean by that? Do you know who came by earlier? No, no, no. Just, I want to know what happened earlier today. Brian. Brian. What? Don't fuck with me, Brian. I'm not. Yes, you are. Tell me something I don't know. Brian. Hey, Brian. Hey, don't you lay a hand on me. Brian, what the fuck is don't this? Don't you fucking lay a hand on me, you temperamental fuck. Fuck you, Brian. You lay a hand on my girlfriend and I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> oh, they went after a girl. Just what the fuck do you do all day, huh? What the fuck is all of this to you? Just, I'm just trying to get out this life I'm living in. Are you sure? Because I don't think you're even making s- Does it look like I like what I do? Does it? I don't care about your life, Brian. I just care about me and my girl. And making a good future for ourselves. Okay, now. That backpack. In there mean a lot for the future you as much as I want to make. That backpack? Are you fucking kidding me? It's special. Fuck your speciality. It means nothing to me. Well, it should. For you and Ariel. Leave Ariel out of this bitch. Okay, okay. I'm sorry for what happened earlier. Sorry's not enough, Brian. And um, I regret coming here tonight and leaving you my valuables. Brian, I don't want anything from you. I just want you to leave me alone and let me live my life. Which I will. But first I have to talk over some things with the people inside. And you're going to say goodbye. This goodbye will last forever. I'm sorry about what I said earlier. About? You know, what I said. Or, or how I said it. You don't need to apologize for anything, Brian. Is it half that big? Yes. We're getting out of this lifestyle for good. Or oh, you're getting me out of your life. Quite a way to celebrate good riddance, don't you think? I think so. Oh, hey! Have we met her already? I believe she was using the restroom once we got here. Yeah. Oh! What's your name? Ariel. Ariel! Come and join us. We're talking about each other's wisdom. That's an easy way of explaining it, I guess. She doesn't know what she's saying. She's just trying to shed light on to us. Come on over and join us, Ariel. There's nothing to be afraid of. We don't buy. You look lost. Are you in the right room? Per se, this one? Do you know where a prostitute goes? 
Oh. Yeah, he's uh, he's outside talking with Brian. You're his girlfriend. He didn't even call me on the phone. Now I get why girls worry so much when their guy isn't around. So tell me, Evan, where has your love life taken you? Oh, you do not want an answer from me. <laughs> why? I am done with relationships. As a matter of fact, the only relationship I'll be a part of from now on is with myself only. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Oh yeah. When you find yourself in that toxic loophole of a relationship, you shouldn't be nice with someone who doesn't give jack and utilizes you. It gives you second thoughts about that person's values and intentions. You know, Evan, I, I've been there. I've been there before. I, I know how you feel. Yeah? I hope you're listening. I am, I am. Well, after several instances of finding myself in those situations, I have finally decided to no longer live in that square and close that chapter of my life. And now, to move on to the booze. Now to move oh. on to booze. Well, we can always change that aspect of your life down the road. Well, for your information, I am never changing that aspect of my life. So, what about you, William? What about me? <laughs> Where has your love life taken you? I know what this is for. This is a get together. Yeah, for what? It might be our last. Why is that? Change. Change? We can't change. There's no reason to. We have it too good. I know you'll never change. Somebody else to ride. Beer's warm. You didn't have any ice? No ice. Who the fuck drinks their beer with ice? You dumbass, you don't put ice in the beer. Put it in the cooler. Who the fuck puts ice in beer? Just ask him, just say. Buzz is coming. You know, always wait. I know him. How do I know 
come, unfortunately. Would you invite Bryant? Is he who I think it is? Just why the fuck would you invite someone like him into this? Are you fucking for reals right now? Look, Brian, I don't know what you're planning here, but this ain't working out. You know what happened earlier? You know what the catharsis is turning out to be? I mean, why the f why, why, why do you want this to happen? What are you doing, Brian? I have to get this straight. Just what are you doing? Why are you bringing Hector along? Did you not hear what I told you earlier before? He fucking raped her! You don't want to do anything about it? Do you know who Hector is? Do you know who Hector is? You probably brought him along, huh? You carbled him? You have fucking gun with you, man. Wait, don't. Get the fuck out of here, man! What the fuck do you think you're doing here, huh? Get the fuck out of here! I have no fucking sense! What the fuck, man? What do you show up here? Do you really think that he and I, even that poor girl, would forgive you? What do you show up here? Look, look I, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm good for. I figured if I just came here and picked up the bag or just apologized, I, I don't know, maybe I would do something right. It disappointed me, too. You brought him back in? Only for a moment. I can't uh, believe you, Brian. That's one, sir. What, Brian? What's so important about this? What? Fuck off! Alright. What the fuck are you doing in here? I don't want anything that has to do with you. explain it to me. You see, everyone in this room carries a zodiac symbol which describes their personalities. Okay. And? And the reason why some of us can't stand each other is because we can't all tolerate one another, especially if you have a dark past. Uh, do you know our signs? I know everyone's. I have given every single person in this room, and a few other folks I'm close with, two free grams of coke on you guys' birthdays. Alright, that's that. And tell us, what's our zodiac sign then? Well, Carlos, you're an Aries, headstrong. Andre, you are a Capricorn, materialistic. Angel, you're a Scorpio, visionary. Julian is a Pisces, moody. Hector is a Sagittarius, obsessive. Ariel is a Taurus, green. Alfonso is a Cancer, gullible. Ezekiel is a Virgo, nosy. Roxy is a Gemini, detached. Brian is an Aquarius, sophisticated, and I am a Leo, extroverted. Extroverted asshole is what you are. But well, doesn't that just sound good for you? I was born under a good sign. Wait, you're missing one sign. Yes, Hector's best friend, 
Miguel is a Libra, dissatisfied. Why did you do this yourself, Brian? I just wanted everybody to have nice flow. And? You see how awful this is turning out to be. Well, tell us what this is all about. Um, waiting for one more guest, and I'll tell why we're all here. You are not doing anything about this flow this room is having. Tell me what I can do. Can you help me? Sorry, I can only do so much, Ryan, and I'll start to feel discomfort. What's he doing here? Didn't you fuck your girl in the bedroom next door? And what did you do then? Wait for nothing. Fuck you! You see, Chilo. Fuck you! Satisfaction? Whatever the hell it is, it's fucked up. So whatever you have planned, don't include me in them. Better yet, kiss my ass. Same to you. That reminds me. We're stopping by his sister's place after this, are we not? Right. Yeah, pretty sure she'll be shocked to see us again. That first time didn't go very well. You don't know what you're talking about. No, well, I know what I'm saying. See, your sister, she... She's bright. Has an innocent little future ahead of her. You know you'd never have that future. But, having the role of the older brother and all, you'll do anything to prevent another gangbang from happening at her place. So, if you don't want to dick up her ass, take the dick out of yours and take the fucking job. So you're calling him. You're not gonna lay your hand on her! Thank mm -hmm. you. 
stress about this whole thing. Believe me, I'm not in the same fucking way. But I need to know why we're all here. I'll tell you later. Why not now? Angel, like, I'm so flustered. I can't blame him. This shit hole of a job was ridiculous from the start. Yeah. Drug running, gun running, breaking into people's homes. It's not exactly fun, but we still do it. I just, I get that feeling that you're trying to form a little squad here. Just to let you know, if that's the case, it's not going to be any, ha any accidents happening. If anyone dies tonight, it's because I wanted to kill them. You're not making any sense. No, you're not making any sense. You're keeping us here, and we don't know what the hell for. What's this about, Brian? take a while. Will it? We can only bear so much. It's too fucked up. Babe, we will get through this. Will we? Do you trust these people? I'm taking my chances on trust. But I do believe these are good people. Are you serious? Yeah. I mean... I do believe that things will get better. You don't. Okay. I want to ask you why we're all here. 
Matter of fact, why are you trying to impress everybody? Look, I'm not trying to impress anybody. As to why we're here, well, you know, Brian. Brian? What about Brian? Great. You don't know why we're here, right? It's fucking great. Somebody else that doesn't know why we're here. Look, maybe he wants us to talk to one another. We'll talk about what? Huh? To talk about what? About how low our chances are of making something for ourselves out there? Or, or what about how none, not a single one of us means absolutely fucking anything? I'm not going anywhere. We're stuck as we feel. We're stuck. Nothing better to do. Fuck off. Uh, yeah, you can smoke out here. Neither can you drink out here. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, that's right. But technically, you can smell alcohol. Okay, you know what? Listen, I'm gonna smoke this cig just down there. If you don't find me anymore. Do yourself a favor and fuck off, like I said. Don't worry about me, alright?
What's so special about that? You don't know? You don't know what this took like this? No, he's gone to court several times for dating a minor. He's fucking beat the living shit out of his ex's boyfriend. I want to hear these two on that. You're lucky you got good lawyers. Fuck. Everybody needs to know that. Hey, everybody. This guy's a pedo. Fuck you. Yeah. Way to defend yourself there. You know, I don't care if you're the protector of women you love. You're still fucked. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get something blocked in. Sister fucker? Yeah, I did. Were you listening? Mm-hmm. Now I get what's wrong. I'm done, man. You're done? You're done with what? I'm done with this life, this whole thing that we have going on. I'm done with it. What, are you gay? <laughs> Fucking dumb. <laughs> I'm done, alright? That's it. So you're just gonna leave everything behind, just like that? Yeah. I'm leaving you behind because you don't help me do what I need to do, which is find myself. And I'm not asking, I'm telling you. You know what? You came to me for help. No. Yeah, you did. And did you ever thank me for it? No. That's what I fucking thought. Hmm. Thanks for fucking up everything I had. You know what? You're a worthless piece of shit and you'll never amount to anything in life. You go fuck yourself. Fuck out of my way. What are you looking at? So what are you looking at? What are you wrong? Are you retarded? got an announcement to make. We gotta get our asses upstairs. Mm, fuck the announcement. I truly believe we could set aside our differences and start fresh. Why? It's a lot of risk. Risk? That's convenient coming from you. At least I've been clocking my house every now and then. But look at me. Here I am. Never gotten caught. 
I understand the adrenaline rush that comes with this lifestyle. Taking but it's not healthy. Taking drugs is not healthy, Brian. Shit, I get a bit of a rush when I do blow. Is that what this is about? Adrenaline? Oh, well, you yeah. dumb asshole. Brian's here has got a point. Somehow we gotta figure out who's going to jail for the rest of their lives and who's done. I personally want a new fresh start in life. So let's hear Brian now. Yes. I doubt anybody here started this lifestyle, but personally, I am. I'm ready to start at this moment a new life. No extortion, no drug dealing. I know it's what's been revolving around Avery Sealer's life, but it's gotta stop. And the backpack in the room. how to wisely use whatever's inside will have their whole life set. I guarantee nothing. But I guarantee it. So what I want for the, for the materials in this bag, well, who I want them to use them. Do you? Take it. I know we caused a lot of difficulties for you today. Awesome. I want you to have a Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't let me deal with that bag. Deal with the fuck in that bag. Hey, get the fuck off. There's nothing in the bag. Hey, Ezekiel. You're not leaving with that fucking bag. Unbelievable. The people I drank with, shared my thoughts with, are preventing me from changing my life. You guys are all screwed up. I want to change, and if you're not changing, so be it. You have one option. You show us what's in the bag before you leave, or you're not leaving. Fuck you. Fuck me. Fuck you. Fuck you.
you mean by that? I meant everything I said by that. I don't believe you. Why? I just feel like this is not going anywhere. You think? It's just... I feel like you won't love me until the end of your day. Girl, okay. That's the point. The point is, you're afraid of this. This specialist we have is scary to you. With you? I just don't know how long you will last. Alfonso? Alfonso, I'm sorry. You're probably right. So why are you still with me? I just want you to make me better decisions. You don't like what I do. I never do. Okay. Well, I won't get out of it. 